My name is Madeline Brandt, and I'm a mathematician. Over the past few days, climbing made its Olympic debut and it featured a mathematically perplexing scoring system. While the climbers compete, I have enjoyed puzzling over this scoring system and computing various outcomes. This scoring system has some strange features. I'm going to show an example of how with this scoring system, the placements of three athletes can completely change depending upon the performance of a fourth athlete. First, I'll explain how it works. Olympic climbing has three events, speed, bouldering, and lead. Athletes compete in the three events, and in each event, they earn a place. In my example, I will have four athletes. In this example, you can see the placements of my four athletes in each of the three events. To compute their final score, you multiply the placements in each event. So, climber A gets third in speed, third in boulder, and second in lead. This gives a combined score of 18 for climber A. Then, the combined scores are compared to determine the winner. Here are the scores of the other athletes. So, in this first example, D gets the gold medal, B gets silver, and C gets bronze. In the other examples, I'm going to change the performance of climber D and see how that changes things. So for now, note that the relative orders of the first three climbers are B, C, A. Now, let's suppose that instead of winning in lead, D unexpectedly takes a fall early in her climb and gets fourth place. Then the scores change. Now the relative order of the first three climbers is B, A, C. Now, climber A beats climber C, even though all we changed was the performance of climber D in one event. Last, let's assume that climber D is unable to compete for some reason and otherwise keep the placements the same. Now, the final scores have A winning, B with silver, and C with bronze. As it turns out, this isn't a completely unrealistic scenario. During the men's qualifier, the expected winner of the speed competition, Basa Mawem, injured his bicep and was unable to compete in finals. Extrapolating from his performance in qualifiers, we can assume that Mawem would have gotten first in speed and last in the other two events. Changing nothing else and just recomputing the scores, this would have Nathaniel Coleman winning first and the actual gold medal winner, Alberto Genus Lopez getting fourth place. Using multiplication of placements to compute final scores creates strange situations in which the placement order of two climbers depends on the performance of a third. What other strange scenarios can you come up with? Thanks for watching.